When it comes to working with hyperlinks through Adobe InDesign and Adobe Acrobat, things can be extremely frustrating. But sometimes all you gotta do is just take a breath and then just go back to the basics. In this situation, my student had a few problems. The first one starts with the YouTube videos. When you end up left clicking on them, it gives you this error message saying the systems have detected unusual traffic from your computer. Try again later. Even if I click on the second one, it does the same exact error. When you get an error like this, it's not as strange or easy to fix as a not found error. When you end up clicking on a link and it says that this web link hasn't been found, that usually means that you type something in wrong. So a little bit of problem solving can go a long way. So in order to figure out what we're trying to do here, we need to go back to InDesign. Then left click on a video that you want to highlight. And in order to view the hyperlink, go to the right side to your hyperlinks panel. And you'll notice that the hyperlink that is highlighted is the one we selected on. You'll double click on that. And then what we'll do is we'll do a command C here just to copy it. We'll go back to Safari and do a command V. And by doing so, you'll notice that you get the same exact error message. So that's telling me a few different things. That's telling me that the video and this link is somewhere on the internet, but it's not the right link at the same time. So upon further investigation, you'll notice that through these links here in the URL, you have this little part that says overview and list. So there's the word overview and here's the word list. When you see those specific words in the URL directly linked to YouTube, that means that it's trying to play it through a playlist. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to YouTube and we're going to find our students specific playlist. Now luckily for you, I already found it. So this is the page that we were linking towards. And you'll notice at the very top in the address bar, here's the word overview again, and here's the word list. So what was happening was the URL was trying to be redirected to here. Now our first button ended up not having this last part on it. So just to show you again really quickly in InDesign, this first video here ended at the word overview. So that part of the link was actually chopped off. And then the other thing that makes it a little bit strange is this other video is the one that's supposed to play right when YouTube starts. Well, these links from this InDesign file over to this address bar is completely different. So here's how you fix it. Before you start playing this video, just go over to your playlist and left click on whatever video you want to link towards. So in this case, I want to change my Courtyard Breakfast Bistro. And when I left click on this, watch the address bar. It will end up changing. You see what it did up here? So now what I can do is I can select that, do a command C for copy, go back to my InDesign document and do a command V for paste. I will also do that for my hotel documentary. By doing the same exact method, I will click on the video to the right. I will pause it so it doesn't interrupt us. Copy the link in the address bar with a command C. Go back down to InDesign and command V for paste and hit OK. So now when I export this out, these two URLs will work correctly. The other problem my student was having was with the web design page. So if we go back to our interactive PDF through Acrobat, you'll notice that when I click on this link, it gives me a not found. As I said earlier, when you end up getting a not found option, that means that the link is completely wrong. Upon further investigation, I realized that right here where it says 2520 on this version, it has more numbers here, meaning that this is older. Because you'll notice that when we find the actual link, there is no 25 here. 
So that's telling me that this old link used to exist, but then was updated and was changed into this. So this is just as easy as doing another command C. Going back down to our InDesign file, click on it once, it highlights the hyperlink over here, double click on it, command V for paste. Then hit OK. So now what we're going to do is we're going to export this out. So we're going to do a file, export, I'm going to name it test number 7 just to go in order, save it as an Adobe PDF Interactive, hit OK, hit OK here. And then when Adobe Acrobat opens up, we're going to test our links really quick and make sure everything works accordingly. So here we go. Let's chop this down to 75%. Let's go to page 8. Here we are. Left click on the first one. Here's our video playing. That's good news so far. Let's pause it. Go back. Left click on our second one. Good news. It's also playing. And last but not least, let's go down to our web design page. Let's give that a good old left click. And voila. There you go. Everything is working accordingly. So sometimes you just got to go back to the basics. Other times you just got to learn a few little things here and there in order to make sense of it all. But in the end, we got it right. And all it took was just a little bit of digging through the hyperlinks and the internet just to make sure everything was relatable and connected correctly.